get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm These in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hope. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep I can't believe I still have this pencil Seriously, case. Seriously, though. I should upgrade to the 21st century, but I like it old school. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. What if Arbus chose to capture people My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken her- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Other approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I should take I a picture to prove I'm still Robin here. Frank. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. But a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. 
The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. You can all about him in your textbook. Or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. No matter who you seem quiet today. Just, just thinking too much. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I, had my I think Victoria has already won the contest, as usual. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Let's talk later, Max. Hmm, this might make a cool shot. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And pe of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. 
Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Yeah, you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture to try to she plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that because it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Kevin doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. To all of you, Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. To imagine a world without you, American That's Dana I'd talking like to, to, I think his name is Justin. Part of the world Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. To all of you, I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. No one can tell where your heart is. American girls like Dolly. It looks With like she's been gone for months. And plastic I wish I had. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary, jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. I cry God, Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Good to flow. Thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you.
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her imp. Did it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human, the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Not freak yet. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep images it together, and Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of when those. When I took my selfie, Jefferson torture. asked me a question. If he does again, I I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Little after class. A French painter, and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces. 
making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Nice answer, Max. Even if you're are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I really think everyday heroes is an important cultural event. And I want to represent... I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. No, no Thanks, Max. Is, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye and every- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come Don't on, put that ever thing down! Tell me what to do! I need a I'm hammer so to break it open! Of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer. No. Holy shit, I can't let this happen! No. If I can reverse time no, no, again, no, no, I can no. help her. 
shit! I need to rewind and do something fast! Get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day! That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion Later, in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um... Female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. <laughs> 